Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So today I want to discuss regarding Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered. Now I know some of you might be already be wondering, do we really need this remaster for a game that only released 7 years ago? It's a fair question, especially since the original game still looks fantastic and even received an update to run at 60fps on PlayStation 5. But there's more to this remaster than just a few tweaks. I want to deep dive into individual components and just want to see what it got in store for us. Now, afterwards, of course, I will answer the question, is this really worth it? All of this? Now, when Horizon Zero Dawn first released in 2017, it was a technical marvel with breathtaking visuals and innovative gameplay. It set a high bar for open world games with its vibrant environments, unique storytelling and intricate combat mechanics. Even after a few years, it still holds up remarkably well, and the PlayStation 5 update to 60fps made it feel even more smoother than ever before. So why remaster it? With the release of the PlayStation 5 and the advancements in the gaming technology, there's a huge opportunity to push this beloved title even further. Now, the remaster aims to align the original game with a high standard set by its sequel, Horizon Forbidden West. This means that better textures, improved characters, models, and enhanced lighting effect that bring the world of Aloy to life like never before. For those who have already experienced Aloy's journey, these upgrades offer a fresh take on a familiar adventure. One of the most notable improvements in this remaster is the visual overhaul. The game now features stunning 4K graphics and enhanced textures that make every landscape more vibrant and detailed. Whether you're traversing the icy mountains, exploring dense jungles, or venturing into arid deserts, the environments have been reworked to look even more realistic and immersive. Every blade of grass and every machine you encounter will look sharper and more detailed, truly taking the advantage of the next generation of console. Well, in this case, current generation of console. Characters too have received significant upgrades. Aloy and her companions now feature improved models and the animations, making every cutscene and interaction more engaging. The attention to the detail is incredible, facial expressions are more nuanced, and movements are more smoother, bringing the characters to life in a way that the original game just unfortunately did not achieve. But it's not just the visuals that has been a massive improvement. The audio experience has been completely revamped as well, as they mentioned it. The remaster support for the PlayStation 5 Tempest 3D audio tech provided a more immersive and detailed soundscape. Imagine hearing the subtle rustlings of the leaves as you sneak through the underbrush or the mechanical wearing, wearying of the stalker as, as it's haunting you. These audio enhancements create a richer atmosphere that pulls you deeper into the game's world. This is coupled by the hundreds of tweaks and improvements to the sound design both in-game and during the cinem cinematic. Whether you're in the heat of battle or simply taking the stunning visuals, the new audio makes everything feel a lot more alive and dynamic. Another major aspect of the remaster is its focus on the accessibility. Guerrilla Games has included many of the accessibility features in introduced in the Horizon Forbidden West. This includes options like remapped controls, haptic feedback, cues for the important gameplay moments, and various assist toggles. These features ensure that the game is more accessible to a wider audience, allowing more players to enjoy Aloy's adventure without facing unnecessary barriers. Speaking of haptic feedback, the remaster fully utilizes the PlayStation 5's DualSense controller. The adaptive triggers and the haptic feedback make every action, from drawing a bowstring to landing a strike, feel more tangible and satisfying. This added layer of sensory immersion enhances the overall gameplay experience, making it feel like you're truly part of the world. Now, if you already own the original Horizon Zero Dawn on PlayStation 4 or PC, there's a special upgrade path for you for $9.99. You can upgrade to a remastered version and experience all these pretty much incredible enhancements. This can even apply to those who picked up the game during the Play at the Home initiative. However, if you own a physical PlayStation 4 disc, you'll need to insert it to your PlayStation 5 to access the upgrade, so keep that in mind if you have a digital-only PlayStation 5. For those new to the series, this remaster edition is a perfect starting point, and is priced at $50. It includes both the original game and of course the remaster upgrades. 
giving you full experience right away off the gate. It's a fantastic deal for anyone who missed out the Aloy's debut adventure and wants to explore the captivating world in this possible form. So why put a remaster now, while the original still plays great? The technology has moved forward. By aligning Horizon Zero Dawn with the technological and design advancements of Horizon Forbidden West, Guerrilla Games is providing a cohesive experience across the series. For new players introduced throughout the sequel, this remaster is a way to experience Aloy's origin story, with all the visuals and gameplay improvements they'd expect from the modern game. Moreover, this remaster could serve as a bridge for fans waiting for future expansions in Horizon Universe, potentially setting a stage for the upcoming content. It's more than just revisiting an old favorite, it's about keeping the franchise vibrant and engaging for both new players and longtime fans. Overall, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered isn't just about updating a game that still holds up, it's about enhancing the experience in every possible way. The visuals and audio upgrades, new accessibility features, a full up on utilization of the next generation hardware, making it more than just a facelift. Whether you're a veteran player looking to see the game in a new light, or a newcomer eager to start your journey, this remaster kinda actually offers a bit of everything for somebody. Now, just so you know, pre-orders are gonna be open on October the 3rd, 2024, so if you wish, you can mark your calendars. Now honestly, I'm looking forward to hear what you have to say about this remaster as well. Are you kind of maybe excited to jump back into the world of Horizon Zero Dawn? Or do you think the original still has plenty of life left in it? Or perhaps maybe it's just, again, a simple and unnecessary remaster. So yeah, do let me know down in the comments. Like and subscribe, see you guys all, and have a wonderful day. What's out there? Vast reaches of wilderness. Untamed. Majestic. But lethal. It belongs to them. The machines. When they told me to raise you, I didn't ask questions. Always you pushed for answers. Push yourself. To the edge. If you hunt these wilds, no matter how skilled you are, no matter how clever, you will become the hunted. There's a threat to us all. Men in masks, raising up ancient machines. And I've seen their leader. Kill her! Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? We need answers. For enduring. You can use explosions. She always does. Ah, you are a wonder! begins anyway. There's so much more to discover before the world ends.